rebounds, seven points. Shannon Gibson, one of four from the field, or one from the line, two rebounds, two points. And Holly Kugler was one of one from the field for two points. Lady Cats, one of one on the threes, 100 percent, 16 of 36 overall, 44 percent, 16 of 13 at the line, 46 percent, 29 rebounds, five offensive boards, 29 turnovers. Scotties were led tonight by Tiffany White with 16. Tiffany was 8 of 12 from the field, 0 of 4 from the line. She had six rebounds for 16 points. Ashley Freeman, 4 of 8 from the field, two three-pointers, two rebounds, 10 points. Sherry Botts, 3 of 7 from the field, all three-pointers, one rebound, nine points. Megan Thomas, 4 of 13 from the field, one rebound, eight points. Tara Bragg, 2 of 7 from the field, 1 of 1 from the line. She's our leading rebounder with 7, 5 points. Holly Atwell was 2 of 4 from the field, 1 rebound, 4 points. Whitney Wade, 1 of 2 from the field. That was a 3-pointer, 5 rebounds, 3 points. And Amanda Whitlow, 1 of 1 from the field, 1 of 2 at the line, 1 rebound, 3 points. Christy Slayton, 1 of 2 from the field for 2 points. Scotty, 6 of 15 on their threes, 40%. 26 of 62 overall, 42%. Only two of seven at the line, 29%. They do win the rebounds, 32 to 14. I mean, 32 to 29. They had 14 offensive rebounds. They only commit 18 turnovers tonight. So they win this one, 60 to 39. And Coach Harris has made his way out. And we'll let uh, Joe go ahead and interview him before we take a break. Thank you, Bruce. We've been joined uh, here at the broadcast position by Lady Scotty head coach Mike Harris. And, uh, Coach, uh, uh, you just came out and you said this was do or die tonight. Uh, we had to have this one, uh, and your Lady Scotties came out and uh, played one of the better overall ball games they've played all year long. Well, I tell you, Joe, these girls and myself had a lot to prove tonight. Uh, we went over there November the 30th, and we just stunk the gym up. Uh, we weren't ready to play. We got down 15 to 6. Uh, and still, as bad as we played, we had a chance to win the ball game. We lose by two points, missed some crucial free throws down the stretch, and uh, had a lot of opportunities. But I told the girls tonight we were going to come out here and set the tone. Uh, met, um, Edmondson played Thursday, Friday, Saturday, all on the road. Uh, on Friday, as uh, we've got the uh, big home ball game uh, coming up uh, against uh, the Barron County Trojanettes. Of course, we know what to expect out of Barron County. We went over there and uh, upset them. Or, uh, not necessarily an upset, but somewhat of an upset just because it was over there at their floor. First time we've beaten them over there in four years, so they'll come in here hungry for a victory. Oh, I guarantee you, uh, you know, they, they've been waiting for this. And like Coach Butler said, it's not so much a revenge game. It's just that they felt like they didn't play to the top of their game. And, uh, you know, hopefully we'll have to be at the top of our game Friday night. But it'll be a great atmosphere. I thought, you know, we had a great crowd, especially the second half tonight. It really energized these girls. And I'd say people definitely will get here early on Friday night to get a seat uh, for both games. But it, it'll be an exciting night. And it'll be definitely a uh, tournament atmosphere. Well, Coach, congratulations on a big district victory for your girls tonight. And uh, we wish you luck on Friday. Thanks, Joe. That's Lady Scotty head coach. His girls win it by a final of 60-39 to 39 over the Edmondson County Lady Wildcats. Lady Scotties now go to 6-11 and 11 overall on the season, 2-3 and three in district play, and more than likely are assured of at least the number three seed. Uh, as we head towards the 15th district tournament, Evanston County now nine and five on the year. They fall to one and four in district play. When we come back, uh... and drafting service plus all the service and value that is made.
like they were and you go through it you know if you do that in the sweet 16 you're done you know you don't have to go out right, and prove right. anything anymore but with the class a and you go through four days like so it's a, it's a little bit different and uh you know we'll see what this team's made of here tonight if they come out flat or if they're ready to play and we talked uh, of course just a moment ago about the depth of the scotties larry but i tell you what this is going to be their sixth game in eight days. I mean, that's almost unheard of. <laughs> and uh, I know they're deep, but still, they've got to be at least a, a little bit tired. Yeah, I think uh, most of the guys said after Sunday that uh, their their legs were pretty tired and, you know, they've only had a couple of days rest now, so uh, they, you can feel like that they may uh, still have the effects of it here tonight. Well, uh, the Scotties went over to Evanston County in the second ball game of the year back on November 30th, and uh, we put a good, pretty, put a pretty good whipping on Evanston County over there, and uh, we beat them 80 to 60. Uh, we had as much, I believe, if my memory serves me correctly, we had them by as much as 33 points there in the second half of play before Bart started substituting. So Evanston County coming to this ball game, they are fighting for the number one seed, uh, not only looking for that, but they're also probably looking for a little bit of respect right here. Oh, I don't think there's any doubt about that. They've got revenge on their minds tonight. To and it won't be the first time they've ever come in here and played a, an excellent game, and I fully expect them to, even though they were beaten last Friday night by Metcalf County, which really surprised me. Uh, yeah. Glasgow shot the ball so well over at Edmondson County, went on a 33-3 run in that second quarter, and uh, you know that's just hard to beat. And Edmondson County just didn't pull the trigger very well on their shots. You can uh, you can bet they'll probably shoot a little better tonight, and we'll have to be on on top of our game to beat them. Well, Glasgow 19 and four overall coming into this ball game. They're four and zero in district play, coming off uh, of course of the championship victory at the All A. Uh, State tournament over Somerset, 60 to 52. Edmondson County, 13 and four, coming into this ball game overall. They are three and one in district play, and as Larry just told you, they are coming off of a loss against Metcalf County on Saturday night by a final of 77 to 66. And Larry, uh, this is an Evanston County club that has an excellent starting five. They don't really have a lot uh, on their bench, but uh, regardless of that, they will run up and down the floor with Glasgow. They are averaging 73 points per ball game, but they give up 70 points per game. So their defense probably not as strong as Glasgow. Yeah, I think, you know, they put out with 11 points, so we held him in check very well over there at Brownsville. When we come back, we'll introduce you to the starting lineup for both of these ball clubs. Back after this one-minute timeout right here on WCLU Sport. Nope, I'm sorry. No. Last minute of warm-ups uh, off the clock, and they put eight minutes on the first quarter clock, so they fooled me there. And a uh, good catch right there, David. Thank you for not taking us to break. Let me introduce you to the starting lineup for both of these ball clubs. First, for the Edmondson County Wildcats. Edmondson County uh, coming into this ball game, of course, 13 and four overall, three and one in district play. For the Wildcats at center, it will be Jonathan Williams. Williams, a 6'7", 235 pound senior. Houston Cruz starts at a forward. He is a 6'1", 170 pound senior. Brian Davidson starts at the other forward spot. He is a 6'1", 155-pound senior. The starting guards are Brett Meredith, a 5'10", 150-pound sophomore, and Brad Meredith, a 5'10", 145-pound senior. Head coach of the Edmondson County Wildcats is Brad Johnson. Now for your Glasgow Scotties. First of all, uh, a man uh, we are all very familiar with, the honorary uh, coach tonight for the Scotties. Mr. Jim Moody. Yeah, we didn't want to miss this, that's for sure. I told, I went down to bench a few minutes ago when you were talking to Coach Harris, and I told, shook hands with Park and Jim, and I said, Park, I said, just don't use any Tennessee ball, please. <laughs> Moody Jim. said they wouldn't work anyway. <laughs> Jim, uh, standing 
at the midcourt uh, stripe with Bart Fleener, the Scotty head coach, getting a standing ovation across the way from uh, the Scotty fans. And well deserved, Jim. I believe the Scott, voice of Scotty basketball for the past 12 years. Larry, is that correct? Uh, Scotty basketball, football, and baseball. That's right. He, he does an excellent job with the news and everything. A, a great a asset for the community of Brown County in Glasgow. Well, now let's introduce you to the starting lineups for the Glasgow Scotties. Starting at a forward, it'll be Glenn Downs. Glenn is a six foot, 185 pound senior, averaging 1.7 points and 2.5 rebounds per game. Randy Depp starts at another forward. He is a 5'9, 170 pound senior, averaging 1.1 points and three rebounds per game. Nick Whitlow starts at center for Glasgow. He's a six foot, 168 pound sophomore, averaging 5.6 points and 5.6 rebounds. Cedric Kurtz starting shooting guard, a 5'9, 155 pound senior, averaging 9.1 points and 2.8 rebounds. And Brandon Stockton starts at the point for Glasgow, leads the team in scoring and the state in scoring for that matter at 29.5 points per game. Brandon also leads the team in rebounding at 5.9 rebounds per contest. He's a 5'11", 165-pound junior. And now let's listen in on the national anthem played by the Glasgow High School Band. on the first quarter clock as uh, head coach Bart Finner comes over here for his pregame handshake from everybody at the scorer's table. Bart uh, wearing the uh, the uh, Glasgow blue blazer tonight, Larry. We saw him wearing that in one other game this year, I believe. Pretty sharp. Bart, yep. All dressed up tonight. Hopefully we'll come out here with that number one seed. The blazer uh, does not last very long. As a matter of fact, it doesn't <laughs> even last past the uh, opening tip off as Bart already has stripped it off. Keys in this ball game, Larry. Well, I think we have to we have to keep them off the board. We have to rebound very well defensively. We can't let Williams get second and third shots on us. Uh, offensively, I think we have to shoot, get more shots than they do, and we have to shoot a pretty good percentage tonight, as we did at Edmondson County. And I think we'll be in pretty good shape. Jonathan Williams and Nick Whitlow to jump it up for their respective teams. Whitlow out jumps in for the tap, gives it to Stockton. Brandon pulls up for a three right off the bat. No good. And Brian Davidson with a rebound for the Wildcats. Into the front court to Cruz, down inside to Williams, goes to the basket, lays it in. Edmondson County has the first lead, two to nothing, seven points to go in the first quarter. Center Kurt, almost fired the three, now cross court over here to Downs, now down in the corner of the depth, driving the baseline, kicks it back out to Glenn. Glenn driving to the free throw line, drives out to Stockton for a three left wing, it is no good. Depp with a rebound, goes back up with it, had it stripped away, here goes the Wildcats. Davidson, one on two break, knocked away from behind by Stockton, out of bounds. Edmonton County will keep it, but a good play by Brandon to knock it away from behind. 7.21 to go in the first quarter. Wildcats lead the Scotties two to nothing. Well, so far, uh, Brandon has taken both of our shots, come up a little short on both of them off the front of the rim. Houston Cruz lobbing up, going to get it is Brett Meredith. He goes to the basket, missed the shot. And Stockton has the rebound, had it knocked away by uh, Davidson, but he goes and gets it. Now Stockton into the front court to Kirk, through about the three instead, gets to Brandon. Now over to Glenn Barrett, now on the right, left side, now in the corner to Randy Depp. Depp fast cross court over there, trying to get it to Stockton, it goes out of bounds. And Edmondson County going to get it back. Uh, Randy uh, threw that one like he was throwing the football the way down the field and uh, threw it all the way up in the stands. 
Scotty's uh, in the white uniforms tonight. It uh, looks a little strange, actually. They wore the blue uniforms for four straight games. You're, you're right. It, they, they don't look right. Now Downs with it over uh, on the right. I'm sorry, Meredith with it over on the right side, guarded by Glenn Downs out there. They get it in low to uh, Williams. He goes to the basket and missed the shot, but he did draw the foul. I believe it'll be on Nick Whitlow. It is. And for Nick, that is his first personal, first team foul. And uh, it seems like it's almost uh, happens in every game. Nick Whitlow picks up at least one early foul. Jonathan Williams going to the line for a couple of free throws. First one is up. It is no good in and out of there. Uh, Williams is a, a national player, and as I said a minute ago, he's really stepped up offensively here as the season has gone along. And he's, a, he's an offensive presence in there, so we have to take care of him tonight. Second one up. This one's good. And the Wildcats lead it 3 to nothing. 6.49 to go in the first quarter. Stockton across the mid-court strike. Gets a pick from Downs. Fires it back to Glenn now. Now over in the right corner to Cedric Hart. Fires up an 18-footer. No good in and out. And the rebound, last up by Glasgow before it goes out of bounds. Edmondson County going to get it back. Well, right now, the Scotties can't find the basket, uh, which is right beside the Cedric Cup. We can go around. Brandon's had a couple. The big mate. So, uh, uh, right now, a cold shooting start for the Scotties. Glasgow uh, does not want to settle for perimeter jumpers against this team. They want to find the gaps and uh, try to drive into the paint. Davidson drives to the basket, had it knocked away, but right into the hands of Williams. Spin move inside the lane. Shot no good. Ball knocked out of bounds. Last touch by Houston Cruz. And Glasgow going to get it back. Yeah, I think we got a break there. I think somebody tipped that basketball and knocked it out of his hands. So now Stockton walks it up across the timeline. Down in the left corner to Cedric Curd. Stockton goes and sets a pick for him. Cedric dribbles it out to the top of the key. Pulls up at the free throw line. Jumper is no good. Williams with a rebound for Edmondson County. Kind of a 1-1-3 one, one, zone for uh, Edmondson County. Right now they're coming out. Put pressure, of course, outside on Brandon. Williams underneath the Houston Cruz. He goes to the basket and lays it in. Scotty's curl 5 to nothing. 5.56 to go in the first quarter. Glenn Downs fires a three. Top of the key. He got it. You'd like to see Glenn Downs be able to come out and hit a few big baskets for the Scotty. Yeah, we got to have we got to have a lot of people to step up, I think, tonight. Cruz gets it down inside to Williams. Turn around inside the lane is no good. And Downs with a rebound for Glasgow. Stops it. On the left wing, fires it over to Downs. Thought about the three instead, goes down inside to Randy Depp. Randy goes up with it, shot blocked by Williams. Got it back, goes back up with it, blocked again by Williams. Out of bounds, last touch by the Wildcats. Scotty will keep it. Well, Randy's just having a hard time under there. He's awful short, but he can go up and get a rebound, but he has a hard time finishing. Ryan Landham's going to see his first action of the ball game for the Scotties as he replaces Nick Whitlow. 5.26 to go in the first quarter. Scotty's trail 5-3. Stockton gets the inbounds into Kurt, fires a three right wing, no good. Landon crashing the boards, and he crashed him a little bit too hard. He'll get his first personal foul. Well, he got him over the back. Uh, I don't know who he came over. I don't think it was Williams. I think it was somebody else, but uh, I'll take the ball right out of bounds. First, I'm sorry, second team foul on the Scotties. Full court. Pressure from Glasgow, 2-2-1 two, two, pressure, I should say. Now Williams with it across the timeline, gives it to Brad Meredith. Now back to Williams, over to Davidson for a three, left corner. No good. Williams with a tap, won't go. Cruz has it. He goes back to the basket. He missed the put back. Williams misses the tap, and Stockton has it for the Scotties. Brandon across the timeline, spin move. Had it knocked away, and it'll go out of bounds. Off of Edmonton, Scotty. Scotties will retain it. He has good hands by, I believe it was Davidson that got a hand on it and knocked it away from him. And he went out, luckily he went out of bounds off of him. Landon gets it into Downs. Now Glenn fires it out to Stockton. Thought about the three, instead drives. Now kicks it back out to Ryan Landon. And he's called for a travel. Well, it's Mistake City right now for Glasgow, and they can't hit a basket, but it's only five to three. 4.50 to go in the first quarter. Scotties uh, did not have a good opening period in uh, their last ball game, in that championship game. They fell 13 to 4, but they came back to dominate the last three quarters. So let's see how things turn out here. Davidson with it. Drives to the free throw line. Pull up jumper, no good. A rebound is uh, being fought for down there. Houston Cruz had it. He fell to the ground, touched the baseline, so Glasgow gets it back. Well, Davidson is a player that we don't want to get and let him get off the slide. He didn't play well against us the last time, and we definitely don't want him to get off on us tonight. Now Stockton across the midcourt strike. Double teamed up front by Brad Meredith and Cruz. 
Now works it around to the right side. Gives it off to Downs up front. Glenn driving, goes to the basket, put up the shot. Too strong off the glass, tap by Depp, won't go. Brad Meredith has the rebound. And he tried to get it off to Brett, and he let him too much. Goes out of bounds, Glasgow's gonna get it back. Yeah, Edmondson County themselves are not taking care of the basketball very well and not hitting the basket very well either. Ryan Durham, Kyle Johnson, Ty Bowles all come into the ball game. So now the Scotties have Stockton, Ryan Landham, Johnson, Bowles, and down here in the corner, Durham. Bowles with it, top of the key, gives it to Landham at the free throw line, gives it back to Ty for a three, it's good! Six of Glasgow's points have come on three pointers and they lead it six to five, 349 to go in the first quarter. And this is gonna be a steal for Glasgow. Kyle Johnson comes up with it. Gives it to Stockton over there on the right wing. Brad Meredith comes out to guard him. He gives it to Durham. Durham fires it over to Bowles for another three left side. This one in and out, no good. And Brett Meredith with the board for the Wildcats. Meredith gets it in the front court to Cruz. Now inside to Williams, he's gonna go. Tried to stop it, missed the dump. And then he fouled as he tried to get the rebound back. Well, he did. He missed a wide open stuff shot. Ryan Durham got the rebound, and he was on his back. That's the way it goes when you miss an easy shot. I think Bruce DeBue enjoyed that one, Larry. <laughs> 320 to go. Johnson fires up a three right side. It's no good. Cruz with a rebound for the Wildcats. Yeah, Glasgow's settling for a one-pass, three-point shot right now, and that's, I don't believe that's going to get it unless we just absolutely knock them down. Cruz with it down inside to Williams. He has trouble handling the pass. It goes out of bounds. Last touch by Williams. Scotty's get it back again. Edmondson County uh, with only three turnovers. I thought that was a lot more than that already here in this first quarter. Well, it seems like it doesn't. It seems like they turned it over every time down the floor and missed the easy shot. Three turnovers for both clubs in this opening quarter. Scotty's lead six to five, three minutes to go. Stockton walks it up across the midcourt stripe. They're in a one two two zone right now. They've got Davidson out on top. They bring him out right out there on Brandon Stockton. Stockton, cross-court pass to Johnson, down the corner left side, he gives to Durham, over to Stockton, fires a long three, right wing, no good. Kyle Johnson got the rebound, but he pushed off against uh, Williams to get that rebound, so he'll pick up his first personal. Yeah, right now, Brandon Stockton having a rough time getting off the slide himself. He's, uh, he's not been able to hit one yet. Third team foul called on the Scotties. Six to five, Glasgow in front, 2.36 to go in the first quarter, neither team getting much done offensively right now. Brad Meredith gives it to Williams, and then he threw it away. He thought Davidson was going to cut to the basket, but Davidson held his ground, and uh, the pass got nowhere near him. And a timeout going to be called by Edmondson County. Brad Johnson not at all happy with the play of his club. It's a full timeout, 2.29 to go in the first quarter. Scotty's lead 6-5, to five, back after this one-minute timeout on WCLU Sports. Whether you're a professional contractor or a do-it-yourselfer, you will find what you need at Square Deal Lumber Company in Glasgow. Featuring a complete selection of lumber, building materials, builder's hardware, porter paints, and rental equipment. Service from an experienced staff dedicated to taking care of you and your project. It's a modern store with wide aisles and bright lighting. There's quick loadout in a drive through lumber shed, easy access and lots of parking. Plus, Square Deal features free estimates and a planned drafting service. Plus, all the service and value that has made Square Deal the oldest building materials firm in our area. Founded in 1891. Check out Square Deal Lumber Company in Glasgow. They're located on Parkview Drive behind Shoney's and the Glasgow Electric Plant Board. Bruce tells me that the Scotties in this opening quarter, two of 13 from the floor, two of eight from three-point range, uh, somewhat reminiscent of what we saw in the first quarter against Somerset, Larry. Right, one out of 15 against Somerset, but we turned it around, so maybe we'll do it here tonight. Now Stockton across the midcourt strike to the left wing, gets the bowls out front. Davidson picked his pocket, one-on-one. -on -one. Davidson against Stockton, spin move to get, get loose, and he'll lay it in. Edmondson back out in front by one, seven to six, 207 to go in the first quarter. Stockton with it, top of the key, gets a pick from Landrum, fires it down in the corner to Johnson, now back to Stockton, now cross court over here to Ryan Durham for a three left side, it's no good. Johnson went up and went over the back, picked up his second over the back foul. That'll be his second personal, the fourth team foul on the Scotties. 
155 remaining in the first quarter. Evanston County gets it back with a chance to extend on their one-point lead. Josh McCracken checks into the ball game for the first time. He replaces Johnson. Brad Meredith with the basketball for Edmondson County. He'll be picked up by Ryan Durham at the half-court strike. Scotty's in a 2-3 zone right here, it looks like. Now, Meredith, Brett Meredith fires up a three, left side, no good. Houston Cruz chases down the rebound inside to Davidson, goes up with it off the glass, no good. Three Scotties fighting for the rebound, and finally Landrum has it. Now Ryan will take it into the front court all by himself. Still has the uh, dribble going. Now he picks it up and gets it off to Stockton. Out of the crack and down to the left corner. Trying to dump it off down there to Bulls. Bulls had some problems handling it. And uh, he stepped on the sideline right here. Or either that or the ball touched the sideline. And Evanson County going to get it back. Uh, Ty just got down in the corner there and just fumbled the ball. And it looks like his foot hit the line. Now Brad Meredith into the front court to Davidson. He gets it to Cruz at the free throw line. Cruz working inside, goes to the basket, missed the shot, but threw the foul. So Cruz will step up to the line for two shots. The Glasgow foul on Ty Bowles, that's his first. The fifth team foul on the Scotties already. Cruz at the line for two shots. First one up, no good, in and out of there. Cruz with two points in the ball game. These are his first foul shots. The dog pound trying to get under his skin a little bit. Doesn't work on that second one though as he nails the free throw. Scotty's tail eight to six now. Stockton with it here on the left wing. Cross court over there to Ryan Durham. Durham gives it to Landrum inside the paint. Turn around jumper for Landrum, no good. Chases down his own rebound into the hands of Ty Bowles. Ty missed the put back. And Cruz has the rebound for the Wildcats. Nothing going down for the Scotties right now, but here's a steal. Ryan Durham got a hand on that pass, and Ty Bowles stole it away. He gives to Stockton. Brandon behind the back pass to Bowles at the top of the key over to Stockton for a three right side. It's good. Scotties have not hit a two-point field goal yet, but they've got three threes, and they lead it nine to eight, 31 seconds to go in the first quarter. Meredith almost walked with it, may have drugged the pivot foot, but got away with it. They get it down inside to Davidson, and he lays it in. Now Stockton, they're on the right wing. Driving, now we'll back it back out. Fire for 17 footer, it's good. Five points for Brandon. And the Scotties back out in front by one, 11 to 10. And here's a steal. Pass goes right through the hands of Cruz into Ryan Durham's hands. Ryan driving to the basket, had it knocked away. Evanson County has a run out. Davidson will go and lay it in. And that is the end of the first quarter of play. It was a slow start, but things picked up quite a bit there in the last couple minutes. And as we head to the second, the Glasgow Scotties trail 12 to 11. Back after this one-minute timeout here on WCLU Sports. With McDonald's new taste menu, there's always a new reason to smile. And right now, we're serving up our new McPhilly cheesesteak sandwich. We take a mouth-watering steak patty, then top it with grilled onions, savory green peppers, melting pepper jack cheese, and mayo, all on a lightly toasted hoagie bun. Add mushrooms for a bit more, and you'll be smiling in no time. Don't wait. Try our irresistible new McPhilly cheesesteak now before it's gone. For a limited time at participating McDonald's. At McDonald's, we love to see you smile. McDonald's, we give you reason to smile every time. Introducing the 99 cent real McDeal. Everyday values on the food you love. Like our tangy McRib Junior sandwich for just 99 cents. Or our tasty McChicken sandwich also just 99 cents. And then there's the great value of our newest burger, the Big and Tasty Burger, with lettuce and tomato only 99 cents every day. So come in now for our 99 cent real McDeal values. At McDonald's, we love to see you smile. Prices and participation may vary. This is David James for WCLU School board report and in Greenwood Warren East action tonight for the guys Greenwood is leading Warren East 14 to 8 in the first quarter. The current temperature is 54 degrees in downtown Glasgow now back to Joe. Brian Davidson with the basketball at the top of the key Davidson had it stripped away by Randy Depp and then Davidson reached in there and fouled him so Randy Depp uh, we learned on uh, Sunday night at the victory celebration that uh, he wanted to be called the showstopper Larry. He is uh, the main defensive player for Glasgow uh, they want to be called that because he stops the show uh, for the opponent. And he does that a lot of times. You're exactly right. He's so quick. He, he just worries you to death. He doesn't really, uh, uh, you know, he can't manhandle anybody, but he'll just worry you, worry you to death all night long. Cedric Hurd with it, top of the key, driving, now kicks it down in the corner, now back out here to Lander. 
Ryan driving inside the paint, goes to the basket, put it in! Let's see if he's going to count the basket. He will. And the foul goes on Jonathan Williams. That is his second personal foul, so a potentially big foul on Williams right there. And uh, Ryan Latham gets his first points. He'll have a chance at the old-fashioned three if he can connect on the free throw right here. Well, uh, Ryan played extremely well up in the Class A. He made some big shots. I remember one time he had about seven or eight points in a row for us. And uh, he hits the free throw. Larry, I thought Ryan was deserving of making that all-tournament team, but yeah, he did not make exactly it. exactly right. Uh, Houston Cruz across the timeline. Now they lob it in down low for Williams. He goes to get it, goes up, puts it in. Good pass, good catch, good shot by Williams. That's five points for him. 7-14 to go in the first half. Scotty's and Wildcats tied at 14. Kurt down low to Whitlow, puts up the jumper, no good, but he drew the foul. That'll go on Edmondson County's Brett Meredith. That'll be his first personal. The fourth team foul on the Wildcats, and Nick Whitlow will step up to the line for Glasgow. Nick uh, hitting on 80% of his foul shots now this season. He has hit 36 out of 45 free throws. First one on the way, no good. Brandon Stockton and Glenn Downs are going to return for the Scotties, replacing Ryan Landrum. And one, two, three, four, five. Somebody else must have went off the floor, but I don't know who it was. Whitlow puts up the second free throw. It's no good. As soon as I say he's an 80% foul shooter, yeah. I jinxed him. Yeah, so, uh, that's unusual for me. 14 all. Edmondson County puts up a 17-footer. It's good from Brett Meredith. And the Wildcats go back out in front. 16-14, 6.53 to go in the first half. Glenn Downs drives. Kicks it out to Kurd here on the left wing. Cedric down the corner to Randy Depp. Driving the baseline. Goes to the paint. Put it up and no good off the grass. Moving for the rebound for the Wildcats. Brett Meredith across the timeline. Gives to Cruz underneath the Davidson cutting across the lane. He'll lay it in. Eight points already for Brian Davidson. Larry said we did not want to let him get off, uh, but that's exactly what we're doing, Larry. Yeah, Brian Davidson's a good player. He's a scorer. He's really a scorer. And Cedric Kerr got a hit uh, on a screen out there and went to the floor, and he still hasn't recovered from it yet. A 30-second timeout called by Glasgow. 6.28 to go in the first half. Edmondson County leading the Scotties. 18 to 14. Cedric uh, now gets up and walks over to the Glasgow huddle. There's a 30, 30 second timeout. It will be uh, Glasgow basketball. I don't think uh, Bart was very happy with that last defensive effort right there. Larry. I don't think so. They, they, they got mixed up. Somebody lost, lost the man, and uh, that's not like the Scotties. They, they, they have to play good defense. Glenn Downs will get the inbounds into Stockton, and he'll walk it up across the midcourt stripe. Gives it to Depp here on the left wing. Randy drives to the free throw line, kicks it off to Stockton, fires a three right wing. It's good, and he got pushed to the floor and no call. He got sandwiched between two Edmondson County players, and they let it go. Brett Meredith gives it to Cruz. Now over to Meredith on the right wing. Driving inside the paint, put up the shot, no good, but a foul going to be called on the Scotties. Ryan Durham will pick up his first personal foul. A 16 foul on Glasgow. Brad Meredith waiting to return to the Edmondson County lineup. Brett Meredith at the line for two shots. First one is good. Meredith, Brad Meredith will replace Brian Davidson for the Wildcats. Also checking back in, or checking in for the first time, Elliot Skaggs. He replaces Houston Cruz. Yeah, Coach Johnson going about, to, what's that, about eight or nine that he's played so far? That is, uh, I believe, just seven to this point that he's played. I could be wrong. Stockton in the yeah, back right. And to Durham. Durham gives it off to Whitlow inside the paint. Missed the shot, though. That's the current that uh, we're going to have to put down if we want to get a victory. And Edmondson County has the rebound. Well, that's right in front of the basket. you got to make that one. Brett Meredith kicks it over on the left side to Nathan Vincent. Vincent gets it inside the paint. Now he kicks it off down there to Skaggs, and Skaggs plays it in down along the baseline. Well, that's a good pass right there. Stockton going all the way to the basket, and he'll lay it in. Ten points for Brandon in the first half of play. 
Brad Meredith driving to the basket. He puts up the shot off the glass, way too strong. Stockton with the rebound. Two on two break, Brad drives to the basket, puts it in. That's Brandon Stockton at his best. In the full court. When he gets a rebound and takes off down court, this man-to-man -man defense, that's when he's the best. And the Scotties are back to within one. They trail 22-21, 5.09 to go in the first half. And a foul going to be called out front on Glasgow. Brandon Stockton picks up his first personal. Already the seventh team foul on the Scotties, so Meredith, Brett Meredith will step up to the line to shoot one and a bonus. Drew Thompson checks in, replacing Nick Whitlow. Cedric Hurd returns for the Scotties, replacing Ryan Durham. Brett Meredith again stepping up to the line for one and a bonus. One of one at the line tonight. This one's good. Second free throw up. It's good. And we get a substitution for Edmondson County. It's going to be Houston Cruz checking in to replace Jonathan Williams. So we got Williams out of the ball game now. Let's see if we can do something on the offensive board with him out of there. They're still in the one two two zone right now. Put the pressure outside on Brandon. Yep, driving the base run down there goes. Missed the shot. We got the hit from the three up if we're going to win this ball game. Yeah, Randy has a hard time finishing the play. He, he's got some great moves. He just can't finish it off. Cruz with it. Gives it up, gives it up to Brett Meredith. Now down in the corner to Vincent. Fires the three. No good. Depp goes way up high for the Glasgow rebound. Now gets to Stockton. Stockton pulls up for a long three straight away. It's off the front of the rim, no good. Curd chases down the long rebound, and then he was pushed. Nathan Vincent is going to pick up his first personal foul. It'll be the 15th foul on the Wildcats. Brandon just a little bit out of his range, I think, on that one. He's four or five steps behind the top of the circle that time, but uh, sometimes he makes those. Ty Bowles going to re return to the Glasgow lineup. Ryan Landrum will do the same. Glenn Downs will sit down. Drew Thompson also will have a seat for the Scotty. Yeah, I think Coach Fleener trying to get some offense in underneath right now uh, with Williams out of the ball game. Edmondson County leading Glasgow 24-21. Four and a half minutes to go in the first half of play. Stockton with a basketball for Glasgow. Crossover move on Davidson to shake loose in the lane, and he drew the foul. Davidson out of his jump strap right there. Well, that's what uh, that's what Coach Lehner wanted right once right there. He wants him to, to get into the gaps of the zone and get into the middle of it, and Brandon Stockton could do that. Second personal foul caught on Nathan Vincent, the sixth team foul on Edmondson County. Stockton going to the line for two shots. Brandon, 77% from the foul line on the season. This one is up. It is good. 15 points for Brandon already here in the first half. Brad Meredith returns to the Edmondson County lineup, replacing Nathan Vincent. Stockton will have one more foul shot. It is up. It is good. Scotty's back within one. They trail 24-23. The inbounds pass knocked back out of bounds by Glasgow, so Edmondson County will set up and do it again. Yeah, full court man-to-man -man pressure by the Scotties. Here's, Here's a run out. out. They try to get it to Davidson. He goes and chases it down, but he's going to pull it up and wait on his teammates. Now Davidson throwing elbows all over the place. <laughs> they let him get away with it. Well, there's Randy Depp all over him. Now they lob it into Davidson. He can't handle the pass, and Cedric Hurd has the steal. Depp just frustrates you to death, doesn't he, Larry? Yes, he does. Stockton driving, pull-up jumper is good, and the Scotties move back out ahead, 25-24, four minutes to go in the half. Into the front court they go to Davidson down low. Randy Depp got a hand on it, and they're going to say Depp touched it last before it went out of bounds. They'll give it back to Edmondson County. Well, that's what Randy Depp at his best. He's just all over the floor, in your face on defense, and uh, getting hands on balls, rebounding well. If he just had a little bit of offense about him, boy, he would be a tough basketball player. Jonathan Williams returns to replace Elliott Skaggs for Edmondson County. Drew Thompson comes in to replace Ty Bowles for the Scotties. They lob it up for Williams. And then a foul called, I guess, they're going to put it on Drew Thompson. They'll say that Drew pushed off right there. That's the first personal on Thompson, the 18 foul. So uh, 
Williams will step up to the line for one end of bonus. He's one of two at the line so far in the ball game. He's got five points. Free throw up, no good. And Stockton with the rebound. Here comes Brandon. Down in the corner to Kurt on the right side. Inside to Thompson, kicks it back out to Stockton. Brandon will dribble it out straight away. He's going to fire a long three-pointer. No good. Probably not a good shot from Brandon right there. As Williams has the rebound. Now they give it to Brett Meredith. Down inside to Davidson. Davidson goes up with it and draws the foul. Yeah, that's a good foul there by Drew Thompson. Uh, a nice pass up here by Meredith down to Davidson. And had he not fouled him, he had a wide open layup. You make him go to the line shoot two now. Randy Depp picks up his first personal. The ninth team foul on the Scotties. I it, thought it was on Drew. They called it on Randy, huh? They did. Hmm. Free throw uh, by Davidson, no good. It's hard sometimes to say uh, that Brandon took a bad shot because he hit so many uh, shots that look like they might be bad shots, but that one was way deep. Yeah, we were trying to get our offense set up in the 1-4 set. They were all on baseline, and uh, Brandon just jumped up and shot it. Probably a little freaking good. Second free throw for Davidson is good. And we're tied at 25, 322 to go in the half. Ryan Landham going to fire a three left side. It's no good off the back of the iron. Davidson has the long rebound for Edmondson County. He gives to Brad Meredith. Now he gives to Cruz. Cruz lobbing it in down there for Williams. He goes and gets it, turns around and puts it in. Seven points for Jonathan Williams. And the Scotties trail 27-25, three minutes to go in the first half. Josh McCracken is on the floor at this time for the Scotties. Right now you've got Brandon Stockton, McCracken, Drew Thompson, Ryan Landon, the center turn, third bounce of three, left corner, no good. Thompson takes it down the rebound, kicks it back to Kurt. Cedric threw about five in the base line down there. Now he'll kick it back out here to Stockton right in front of us. Brandon's going to get a pick from Landon. Now trying to uh, drive around the right side, and we're going to get a foul. Cruz picks up his first personal. The 17 pounds so Brandon will step up to the line for one and bonus. Ryan Burke checking back in for Glasgow. He replaces Josh McCracken. Well, we need some shooters in the game. Certainly causing Brad Merrick with the now. Brandon's going to throw away here in the second corner. But he's Rams outside seven against this line. Brandon at the line. Two of two tonight. Now making three of three. Glenn Downs and Ty Bowles. Check back in for the Scotties, replacing Ryan Landon and Drew Thompson as Mark Fender continues to run in fresh bodies. Two and a half minutes remaining. And it's going. Tied at 27. Cruz gets the inbounds in to Davidson. Now back to Houston Cruz. And Cruz will take it up across the midcourt strike. Picked up by Downs there. They lob it in for Williams. He goes and puts it up. And he, and he got away with a travel. And Coach Fleener about to blow a vein over here on the sideline. I don't blame him. I think he did travel with that one. Down the corner to Glenn Downs. He'll throw a three. It's good. Glenn Downs has hit a couple of big threes for Glasgow. And he puts his team back out in front by one, 30 to 29. Cruz with it. Top of the key. He'll fire a three straight away. It's good. 32 to 30. Edmondson back in front. Kerr gives it down. Space the three. Gives it back to Cedric. He'll fire a three left corner. It's no good. Cedric chases down his own rebound. Goes to the basket. Missed the shot. Call a charging foul. Cedric Hurd called for a charging violation. I don't know where that one came from, but uh, we'll give him his first one and the 10th team foul on the Scotty. Yeah, that's the one guy right there that we don't want refereeing that extra games. I mean, he, he's always giving us a little problem. Houston Cruz put it in play. He gets it in to Brett Meredith. Meredith across the timeline. Now kicks it into Williams. Williams spins. Goes to the basket, missed the shot. Good defense from Ty Bowles. And Stockton with the rebound for Glasgow. Brandon driving, goes all the way to the basket, missed the shot. Williams with the rebound, knocked away by Kurt, but Williams picks it back up. Now gives it out to Brad Meredith. 
Into the front court to Davidson. He takes it back out to Williams. Now over to Brett Meredith for a three right side. It's no good. Davidson with the rebound goes to the basket. Missed the putback. Glenn Downs going to get a foul called on him right here. He went over the back. And he'll pick up his first personal foul. Wildcats already in the double bonus. So uh, Houston Crew is going to step up to the line for two shots at the free throw line. Well, he had good inside rebounding position that time, and Glenn Downs went up and tried to tip the ball up over his head, but he had a little body contact to go along with it. First one up, and it's good. Edmondson County moves out in front by three, 33-30, a minute 10 to go in this first half. Devin Lindsay has checked in to the Edmondson County lineup. I believe he becomes the eighth player to play for the Wildcats tonight. Cruz putting up the shot, second one no good. Glenn Downs with the rebound. Downs gives it to Stockton, and Brandon will take his time and walk it up across the midcourt strike. 1-3-1 defense here from the Wildcats. Durham fires a three left side, in and out, no good. Curd with a rebound, goes back up with it, rejected. And now Brett Meredith has it for Edmonton County. Now Brad Meredith with it, the see Crate takes it across the timeline, gives it to Davidson. Now out straight away they go to Cruz. Cruz working against Bowles, down inside to Lindsey. I'm sorry, Meredith. Meredith goes up with it and drew the foul. And Coach Fleener again wanting a walk over here on the sideline, and uh, he is quite possibly correct. Yeah, I think he was too. I think he did travel in the middle of the lane. They're going to get Ty Bowles for the foul. That's Ty's second personal. And Brian Davidson going to check back in, or I'm sorry, going to step up to the line. But he hits the first free throw. Ryan Lanham going to come back for Glasgow, replacing Ty Bowles with those two personals. Mark Fleener has a rule. If you pick up two personal fouls in the first half, you don't see any more action in that half of play. Davidson gets both free throws. Now Curd with it down in the corner on the right side. Cross-court pass over here to Durham. Now to Downs. Now back to Durham. Ryan driving the baseline down there on the left side. Now he'll bring it back out to Glenn Downs. Downs gives it back to Ryan again. Going to try to drive the baseline. Goes to the basket and draws the foul. The Wildcat foul on Devin Lindsay. That's his first personal. The eighth team foul. So Ryan Durham will step up to the line for the Scotties for one in the bonus. Five-point lead here uh, equals Edmondson County's biggest lead of the game. So Ryan Durham can cut into that with two free throws. 35 to 30 right now. 23 seconds to go. In the first half of play, free throw is no good. Ryan's had a little trouble shooting free throws so far this year. Maybe he can nail this one. And uh, a little bit strange, Larry, because uh, Ryan has showed us throughout the season that he is a good shooter, but he has struggled, definitely has struggled from the free throw line, only hitting 33%. Second free throw is good. 35-31, 23 seconds to go in the first half. You can uh, probably be assured Evanston County will hold it for one shot right here if the Scotties allow them to. Davidson in the front court to Brad Meredith. Now he gives it to Cruz. 12 seconds to go, down in the corner. Now back to Brad Meredith, fires a three, it's good. And we get a whistle on the rebound after the shot. The basket will count. But the foul is going to go on Edmondson County's Brian Davidson. That'll be his second. No. What are they going to say here? The Edmondson County crowd cheering like uh, it was on Glasgow, but I thought they were going to put it on Edmondson County, and now uh, it is they on. are. Okay, they are going to put it on Edmondson County. Well, uh, Ryan Durham's going to the line. I don't know who they called the foul on, though. I, I, still... I think it was Brian Davidson. That's who they've got up on the scoreboard, and that's who I thought I saw the official signal. Okay. And a timeout going to be called by the Scotties here. Nope, I'm sorry, by Edmondson County. With 6.2 seconds to go in the first half, and Edmondson County out to their biggest lead, 38 to 31. But, uh, Larry, what that foul does allow is uh, for Glasgow to come down here and try to keep, put a couple more points on the board from the free throw line with the clock stop. And they'll try to get it back to five points here before you go into the restroom and don't give them a good look at the basket uh, before halftime. Uh, you know, Glasgow uh, 
got off to a real slow start shooting the basketball, and it hadn't gotten a whole lot better. They still have 31 points on the board, maybe 33 if we can get these two free throws. But uh, you know, nobody's gotten off to nobody's gotten off to a very good start. Brandon has scored some points this half, but nobody else is helping him out right now. Brandon Stockton with 18 points right now. Lynn Downs with six. He is the Scotty's second leading scorer at this point. Ryan Durham misses the free throw, and Cruz with the rebound. Two seconds, one second. Shot thrown up by Brett Meredith is no good. We have reached the halfway point of this basketball game as we head into the locker room. Brad Johnson walks off the court with a sly smile on his face. His Wildcats lead the Scotty. Hey, Jim. As uh, the Scotties lead it 38 to 31 here at the half. Uh, Larry, uh, what is it going to take for Glasgow to turn this thing? This second half of play. Brandon Stockton will put it in. Scotty's trail 38-31. If Glasgow wins this ball game, they are the district champs. If they lose this ball game, they may not be. We'll have to wait and see what happens uh, on Friday night, and then it may all come down to a coin toss. Glenn down, gives it to Stockton. Stockton drives to the free throw line. Shot is no good. Halfway down and came out. That's just the way it's going for Glasgow right now. Williams with the rebound. Into the front court to, Willi or to a Davidson. Davidson lost it right into the hands of Williams. He lays it in. 11 points for Jonathan Williams, and Evanston County leads by 9, 40 to 31. Stockton with the left side, fires a three. It's no good. Williams with the rebound for the Wildcats. Now he gives to Brad Meredith. Meredith gives to Cruz at the top of the key. Over on the right side to Brad Meredith. Fires up a jumper. It's good. Right now, the Wildcats look very good. The Scotties cannot find the basket. The Stockton throws the way down here. Glasgow trails by 11, 42 to 31, 6.55 to go in the third quarter. Well, definitely not the best effort so far. We're throwing the basketball away, taking some bad shots, and uh, we just don't have an answer for Williams underneath right now. They go and lob it up for Williams, and they're going to get a foul on Nick Whitlow after Williams laid it in. And right now, Larry, the Scotties better be careful. Edmonton County uh, getting close to pulling away with this one. Well, that's, a, that's just a big lob pass all the way from out about the, the jump circle, inside the jump circle, just a long lob pass and throwing it up in the air, and Williams just going up and getting it, and everybody doing everything they can to get it away from him, but uh, he goes up and gets it with his 6'7 body and puts it in the basket, and, and uh, you know, he gets the foul call, too. There's not a lot you can do about that. He has 13 points for Edmondson County as the Wildcats... Uh trying to give the Scotties a taste of their own medicine right here. Glasgow went over there and beat Evanston by 20 points back on November the 30th. But right now, the Wildcats lead the Scotties by 13 here on their home floor, 44 to 31, 6.46 to go in the third quarter. Yeah, they're on a 6-0 run to start this quarter, and uh, that's not what the, the Scotties up in the state tournament then before usually the third quarter is there they usually own the third quarter and then kind of wear you out in the fourth quarter jonathan williams at the line for one free throw he can give his club a 14 point lead and he does this may be as far down as the scotties have been all year with the exception of westminster i think as far as i can remember them being down stockton goes to the basket draws the foul and laid it in Fleener over there on the Scotty sideline trying to get his troops fired up. The foul is going to be called on Brett Meredith. That's his second personal, the first team foul on the Wildcats in this half. Stockton has 20 points. He's going to the line to try to get number 21. Free throw is up, and it's good. 45-34, Glasgow trailing by 11. Houston Cruz across the timeline, picked up there by Glenn Downs, lobbing it in to Williams. Williams lobs it out over there to Meredith. Now inside to Davidson, he got open under there and had a wide open layup and lays it in. 13 for Brian Davidson. Well, that's a play. They go inside to Williams and then dish it right back down the lane, and they're moving real well without the ball. Glenn Downs fires a three. Glenn has found his mark tonight. He's got three threes and nine points. 
Brad Meredith double teamed here. Gives it off out the front to Houston Cruz. Now Cruz gives to Brad Meredith. Scotty's trying to pick up the defensive intensity. They give it off to uh, Houston Cruz. Cruz drilled the three. And uh, the foul going to be called on Glenn Downs. And Larry, I just saw it out of the corner of my eye, but uh, it looked like Glenn did not do uh, something that uh, was very smart right there. It looked like Glenn kind of delivered a forearm out of the corner of my eye. Yeah, I didn't see it myself, but uh, he, he called the foul. Scotty's trail by 13, 50 to 37 after the three-pointer by Cruz. And they'll get the basketball back after the foul. They get the inbounds into Davidson. He goes to the basket and lays it in. Scotty's trail by 15. Stockton drives to the free throw line. It's good. Right now, Brandon Stockton and Glenn Downs, the only two players that are doing anything on the offensive end for Glasgow. Well, nobody's doing much defensively either, and that's the problem right now. Cruz gives it to Williams, then it's stolen away. His pass is by Stockton. Brandon going to the basket, that's and that'll be an intentional yeah. foul, and that's a good call. Yeah, he just reached out and grabbed it. He that's sure did. Well, when Brandon gets you one-on-one -on -one like that, you're probably not going to stop him. And that's about the only way you just reached out and grabbed it. And Cruz picks up his second personal foul, the second team foul on the Wildcats. Stockton's going to step up to the line for two free throws. They'll back everybody else away from the free throw lane. First free throw is no good. He'll have one more. He is up. This one rolls in there. 25 to go in the third quarter. Edmondson County leading the Scotties 52 to 40. We are on pot, on pace for a very high scoring basketball game. Well, yeah, it probably hurt us there, Brandon. We're going to have a wide open layup and he reached out and grabbed him. Of course, we're going to get the ball. We may get three out of it anyway. But Stockton kicks it down in the corner to Glenn Downs. He made the nice interior pass off to Ryan Landrum and Ryan do the foul. I tell you what, uh, Larry, Glenn Downs has impressed me over the past three or four ball games with his interior passing. He has made some excellent interior passing. The Edmonton County foul is on Brad Meredith. That is his first personal, the third team foul. Ryan Landrum at the free throw line. The first one is good. Ryan with four points. Second free throw on the way. It's good. He's got five points. And we're back to within 10, 52 to 42. 5-11 to go in the third quarter. You feel like if Glasgow can keep it in that 9 to 10 point deficit that uh, will be around in the end of the ball game. Brad Meredith drives. Kicks it down inside. Stolen away by Kurt. Scotties can cut it into single digits with a basket here. Stockton going to the basket. He'll put it up and draw the foul. And he gets into the lane. It's very hard to stop him either from scoring, getting the shot off. You just about have to foul him. He's going to bump him some way or another and send him to the free throw lane. But this was not a shot, though they were saying, right? Uh, apparently not. Oh, I thought, thought he, he was, did. Looked like he shot the ball. I thought there. he was definitely in the act of shooting, but the official says it's not. Meredith, Brad Meredith picked up his second personal. They lob the inbounds into Landham. He goes and gets it, puts up the shot off the paint. Inside the paint, no good. Brad Meredith with a rebound, and Cedric Hurd stepped in there and knocked it away from him. But they're going to get a reach-in foul called on Cedric. Well, you get away. Sometimes you get away with those kind of plays. You know, it looks like they got right in behind him and tipped the ball away from him. And uh, but the Doug Harlow called the foul on him. Four team fouls, uh, three team fouls. I'm sorry on the Scotty. Inbound pass into Davidson. Davidson across the timeline, knocked away from behind. Ball loose underneath the basket down there. It'll be knocked out of bounds, and the Scotty's going to get it back. Yeah, I believe that was a little makeup right there. I thought we knocked the ball out of bounds that time. There, I tell you what, this place right now is uh, getting a little crazy as the fans <laughs> on both sides are uh, up on their feet. And a 30-second timeout going to be called by Edmondson County. Yeah, wait till the fourth quarter. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That is the second uh, 30 timeout, 30 second timeout called. So Wildcats out of 30s. They do have two full timeouts remaining. 
Scotty's trail 52-42, 4.36 to go in the third quarter. But Larry, uh, you get the feeling that maybe the momentum just just barely starting to come over to the Glasgow side right here. Yeah, that's a good time out by, by Brad Johnson over here to stem a little bit of the tide. Emerson County getting a little bit a little bit wasteful with the basketball that time. Uh, of course, Glasgow is really up in their pressure on defense. Hopefully in the fourth quarter, this is going to wear Edmondson County down a little bit, and they're going to make some more mistakes. So Glasgow really putting the pressure on defensively. Uh, of course, they're getting some fouls called on them, too. Edmondson has played eight players, but uh, the starting five has played the majority of those minutes. Stockton gives it over to Downs for a three right corner. It's no good. Cedric Curry chases down the rebound, gets it to Stockton. Brandon fires a three straight away. It's no good. And Brad Meredith with the rebound. Brett Meredith with the rebound. There's two good shots there, boys. Both of them had a good look at the basket. Brandon. Brandon. Now Cruz with it. His pass knocked away by Ryan Landham into the hands of Randy Depp. Cedric Curd with it down in the corner. Gives it to Landrum. Landrum driving down to the baseline. Kicks it back out here to Curd. Now he gives it to Stockton. Brandon. Had his pocket picked, but now goes back and gets it. Over to Downs on the left wing. Glenn driving, now kicks it out to Ryan Landham. Ryan puts up a 15-footer. It's good. Scotties have closed it to single digit, 52-44. Brad Meredith has it stripped away. Ball loose on the floor. Cruz picks it up. The Scotties trying to create controlled chaos right here, and they get a steal. Cedric Hurd had it, and a foul called on Edmondson County. Oh, there's that controlled chaos you was talking about. They get, you, they get you tired a little bit, get you looking across court, and you think you got a man open, and then somebody's there to step in the passing lane and take it away from them. The third personal foul called on Brett Meredith, the fifth team foul on the Wildcats. It'll be Scotty Basketball. Ty Bowles has come into the ball game. Kyle Johnson and Ryan Durham also into the game. Yeah, now you lose a little bit of your defensive intensity, I'm afraid, because those guys got to have a little bit of a break. Uh, but we're a little bit better offensively, maybe. Now Stockton gives it to Kyle Johnson down in the right corner. Kicks it back out to Stockton here on the right wing. Scotty's trail, 52-44, 3-11 to go in the third quarter. Ryan Landon with the basketball, and he was fouled as he made a move to the hoop. Well, Ryan's doing a good job right now taking the ball into the middle of the lane and getting some little jump shots, good looks at the basket. The Emerson County foul going to go on double zero, Nathan Vincent. That'll be his third six-team foul on Emerson County. John, uh, Stockton gets the inbounds into Landrum. Now Bowles with it, left wing. Now Ty will dribble it out and hand it off to Brandon Stockton. Brandon will set the offense for Glasgow. Stockton standing out at the midcourt circle, 2.56 to go on the third. Stockton kicks it off to Ryan Durham for a three right corner, no good. Kyle Johnson with a rebound, goes up, put it in, but they are not going to count the basket. But Kyle did draw a foul, and it will be the seventh team foul, so Johnson will step up to the line for one in the bonus. This guy is killing us. <laughs> That ball, I think he got a rebound, went right back up and put it in, and they blew the whistle, and they called it on the floor. I don't understand that call. Well, it will be, as we said, the seventh team foul, so at least we will go to the line for one and a bonus as Nathan Vincent has picked up his fourth personal foul. Johnson, first free throw on the way. It's good, so he will earn that bonus. First point for Kyle. First trip to the line tonight. Second one up. It is no good, and Houston Cruz has the rebound for the Wildcats. Scotty's trail 52-45, 2.43 to go in the third quarter. Brett Meredith across the timeline. Picks up his dribble, pass knocked away. Almost stolen away by Ryan Landrum, but it's going to go out of bounds. No, I'm sorry. I thought Ryan Landrum touched it last, but uh, Cruz kicked it out of bounds, Bruce tells me, Larry. Exactly and right. And Scotty's will get it back. Yeah, Ryan Landrum hit, tipped the ball right off his foot and he kicked it out of bounds. Now Stockton with it right side. Holds up three fingers, calling out the uh, offensive play. Gives it to Landrum on the high post at the free throw line. Now dribbles out, gives it off to Durham down in the corner, left baseline. Running jumper is good. Three points for Ryan Durham, and the Scotties are right back in it. They trail 50, 40, 52 to 47, 2.12 to go. Here's a steal by Ryan Durham. Gives it to Johnson. Kyle going to the basket. He'll lay it in. 
Three points for Kyle Johnson. It's a three-point ball game. 52-49. The Scotties have stormed back here in this third quarter. Cruises pass to Brad Meredith. Meredith can't save it from going in bounds, or he does save it, but right to Kyle Johnson. Now Stockton with it. Scotty's going to the basket. There goes Stockton, puts it up and in. The Scotties have posted it to 52 51, 136 to go in the third. Brad Meredith with it as the dog pound chance Buddha, the nickname of Brandon Stockton, and Buddha gets a steal. Here he goes to the basket. He'll put it up and in. Yes. Draw the foul. The County foul goes on Brett Meredith. That is his fourth personal and the eighth team foul. And the Glasgow Scotties have stormed back in this ball game. They take a one point lead at 53 52, a full timeout called by Edmonton County. But Larry, I'm too excited. We're not going to take a break right now. I'll tell you what, I don't believe I've ever seen a 15 point lead evaporate so quickly. I mean, the Glasgow defense right now is just relentless. Now you fought back to, to erase a 15 point lead and you take the lead. You got to sustain that now. You got to really put the pressure on them right now again and don't let them up off the floor now once you've got them down. Larry, I tell you, one of these days I'm going to learn my lesson when it comes to this Scotty Ball Club. They are never out of a basketball game with the way they play defense. Yeah, that's unbelievable how they came back to, uh, to take a one-point lead after being down that far uh, in such a short time. Now, they were down... Uh, uh, at 646, they were down by 13, and I think they scored the next two points and put them down 15. And from about six minute mark on, they've cut 15, 16 points off that lead and, and took a one point lead there. The Glasgow Scotties there. And Brandon Stockton going to the line for the chance uh, to give his Scotties a two point lead. He's already made the field goal. We're on an 11 to nothing run since the 436 mark. And we can make it 12 right here. Free throw on the way for Brandon. It's good. 121 to go in the third quarter. Scotty's lead 54-52. A minute 17 to go in the third. Into the front court to Brad Meredith. They get it down low to Williams, and we get a whistle on the Scotties. I believe they'll get Ty Bowles. They do get Ty, that is his third personal, the fourth team foul on Glasgow. Drew Thompson gonna check back in for the Scotties, replacing Bowles. Houston Cruz will put it in play for the Wildcats. He gets it into Davidson, down there along the left baseline. Now Davidson looking, cross-court pass stolen away by Ryan Durham. Durham driving, reach-in foul, not called, but Ryan keeps control of the basketball. Now over on the right side to Kyle Johnson for a three. It's no good. If that one went down, the roof would have come off of this play. I think so. A little quick, a little quick that time. Now Brad Meredith with it, gives it to Davidson at the top of the key. Now over on the left side to Cruz, fires a long three, left wing. It's no good. And Durham with a rebound for Glasgow. Uh, we've come up with eight steals in this quarter. I only had five the whole first half, eight in this quarter. 33 seconds to go in the third quarter as the Scotty crowd comes to their feet over there across the way. Glasgow leads 54 to 52. Still in that 1-2-2 two, two zone and bringing a point man way out on Brandon Stockton. But no need to, uh, to hurry right here. You need to take the last shot. Stockton just standing out here at the midcourt stripe, dribbling the basketball. Now gives it up to Johnson. Now he'll get it right back from him. 10 seconds to go. Here's the 1 4 set, Larry. They got the four players down on the baseline with Stockton going one on one. He'll pull up for a three straight away. No good. Williams with a rebound. That is the end of the third quarter of play. The Scotties, just a magnificent third quarter as they have stormed back to take a 54 to 52 lead over the Wildcats. We'll be back after this one minute timeout here on WCLU Sports. 
Square Deal Lumber Company has a lot to offer at their store in Glasgow. A state-of-the-art facility stocked with a well-thought-out selection of what professional builders and do-it-yourselfers need. Combined with good old-fashioned service from experienced staff. When it comes to building, experience really does count. And store manager Dennis Hawkins has been helping Square Deal customers for over 30 years. And Dennis is backed up by a knowledgeable, experienced staff, each dedicated to taking care of their customers. Square Deal can fill your orders and get you back on the job in a lot less time thanks to a modern store layout and the drive through lumber shed. And there's more, like equipment rental, steel stock, an extensive line of hardware items. And Porter Paints are available in the paint corner, now a part of Square Deal in Glasgow. Square Deal Lumber Company, located on Parkview Drive behind Shoney's and the Electric Plant Board. Edmondson County will have the basketball to start this fourth quarter of play. Brandon Stockton has 29 points for the Scotties. Glenn Downs has nine, and Ryan Landrum has stepped up for seven points. Cruz lobs it in to Brett Meredith. He goes to the basket. He'll put it in. We're tied at 54. This should be a fun fourth quarter, folks. 7.50 to go. We're tied at 54. The district championship hanging in the balance. Now Stockton with it, driving to the paint. Puts up the shot, it's rejected. Glenn Downs has it though, gives it to Whitlow. He'll put it in. First two points for Nick Whitlow. And now Davidson with it in the front court for the Wildcats. Driving, now he'll pull it back out. Kick it out there to Brett Meredith for a three right wing. It's no good. Davidson with a rebound, goes up with it and put it in. 17 points for Brian Davidson. Cedric Kerr down there along the baseline. His jumper's good. First two points for Cedric. Scotty's back out in front by two, 58-56. They lob it inside to Williams. He makes a move on Glenn Downs to shake loose, missed the basket. Stockton tapped the rebound right back to Williams, and he puts it in for his 16th point. Tied at 58. 6.57 to go. Stockton pulls up for a 17-footer. It's no good. Ball loose inside there, and uh, Williams comes out of there with it for the Wildcats. Now he gives it to Brad Meredith. Meredith across the timeline. Now to Brett Meredith down there in the corner. Kicks it to Williams inside the paint. Williams is going to draw the blocking foul on Glenn Down. Third personal called on Glenn. Fifteen foul the Scotty. Well, Edmondson County has kind of settled down and gone back to what they can do and what they do best, and that's getting it inside in the last few times they've done that. Jonathan Williams is going to step up to the line for uh, a couple free throws for the Wildcats as one of the officials gets Randy Depp and Brian Davidson together down there underneath the basket to have a few words with them. Must have been some rough play down there. Going to try to straighten that out. Williams misses the first free throw badly. <laughs> Uh, he, he looks over here at the coach <laughs> with the awfulest look I've ever seen on somebody's face. Yeah, he grins. He knows that was ugly. Nick Whitlow uh, will come out of the ball game. Kyle Johnson replaces him for Glasgow. Williams with the second free throw. This one's good. Edmondson in front, 59-58. Stockton going to the basket. He'll put it up. It's good. Brandon Stockton right now, 31 points. His Scotty's back out in front by one, 60 to 59. 618 to go in the ball game. Davidson with it front court, gives it to Cruz. Down inside to Williams. He got the basket and drew the foul. Curd picks up his second personal. The seventh team foul. I'm sorry, the sixth team foul on Glasgow. Williams at the line for one free throw. It's up, it's good. Wildcats back out in front by two, 62 to 60, 609 to go. Stockton with it. Pull up jumper from the free throw line, no good. Johnson with a rebound, took it back up, had it stripped away. Depp has it, he took it up and drew the foul. Edmondson County foul on Jonathan Williams. That is his third. 
The ninth team foul on the Wildcats, so Randy Depp will step up to the line for a uh, couple free throws. Randy on the season hitting on 43% of his foul shots. Well, that's better, huh? So, maybe he nailed both of these. First one up, no good. Still have one more. And even six minutes left on the fourth quarter clock. Second one up, it's no good, and Brian Davidson chases down the rebound. Davidson gets to Brad Meredith. Meredith working against Johnson, comes across the timeline. And his pass kicked out of bounds by Ryan Landon. Emerson County will put it in play. Well, Glasgow spent a lot of energy on that press a few minutes ago, and right now the energy is down just a little bit. Davidson lobbing it into Williams. Randy Depp knocks it away from behind. The Brad, Brad Meredith there to pick it up for Evanston County. Driving down to the baseline. He'll put the shot up off the glass. He got it. Ten points for Brett Meredith. And the Edmonton County Wildcats go back in front by four. 64 to 60. Stockton with a pull-up jumper inside the paint. It's good. And a 30-second timeout. Nope. Make it a full timeout now called by Glasgow. 5.29 to go in the game. Scotty's trail 64-62. Back after this one-minute timeout on WCLU Sports. There's always a new reason to smile, and right now we're serving up our new McPhilly cheesesteak sandwich. We take a mouth-watering steak patty, then top it with grilled onions, savory green peppers, melting pepper jack cheese, and mayo, all on a lightly toasted hoagie bun. Add mushrooms for a bit more, and you'll be smiling in no time. Don't wait. Try our irresistible new McPhilly cheesesteak now before it's gone. For a limited time at participating McDonald's. At McDonald's, we love to see you smile. At McDonald's, we give you reason to smile every time. Introducing the 99-cent Real McDeal. Everyday values on the food you love. Like our Tangy McRib Junior Sandwich for just 99 cents. Or our Tasty McChicken Sandwich, also just 99 cents. And then there's the great value of our newest burger, the Big and Tasty Burger. With lettuce and tomato, only 99 cents. Every day, 99 cent Real McDeal values. At McDonald's, we love to see you smile. Prices and participation may vary. 64-62, Scotty's trail by two. 5.29 to go in the ball game. Edmondson County with the basketball. Cruz trying to get it in against the full court man-to-man -man pressure. Gets it into Davidson, now back to Cruz. Now over on the right side to Brad Meredith. Meredith comes across the timeline to this double team there by Depp and Durham. Gets it underneath to Davidson. He was wide open under there. Somebody fell asleep defensively. 19 for Davidson. Now Stockton going to the basket. Spin move, shakes loose, put it up, no good. Meredith, Brett Meredith with the rebound for Edmondson County. Houston Cruz gives it to Williams. Williams gives it to Brad Meredith. Meredith driving, now he'll pull it back out. Kick it off to Cruz. Cruz inside to Williams, knocked away by Landrum, and Stockton has the steal. Brandon going to the basket, he'll put it up. Missed the shot, tap by Depp, no good. Again, tap, he got shoved from behind and no call. Davidson has it, and he goes to the basket and is fouled hard by Kyle Johnson. Well, it wasn't an intentional foul, but I don't think that's going to be uh, what they're going to call. But Randy Depp, you're right. Randy Depp got pushed all the way up on the stage back down there. Kyle Johnson picks up foul number three. Seventh team foul on the Scotty. So Brian Davidson steps up to the line. He'll have two shots. He was in the act of shooting. First one up, and it's good. Cedric Hurd replaces Randy Depp. Edmondson goes out in front by five, 67-62, 4.40 to go. Second one up, it's no good, and Brandon Stockton has the rebound. Brandon on the left wing. Gets a pick from Landrum. And Brad Meredith, though, strips his pocket from behind. Meredith going, he'll put it up, miss the shot. Stockton with the rebound. Into the front court to Durham. Durham down there along the baseline right side. Going into the paint. Put it up and in. Nice move by Ryan Durham that time as he took it in amongst the tall trees and got his fifth point. And a timeout, an official timeout, I believe, called. Well, it looks like uh, Brett Meredith hurt his ankle or something down here, and he's, he's walking it off right now. But they call the timeout to get somebody else in the ball game. Nathan Vincent replaces him. 
on uh, the roster, Brad Meredith is listed as number 22, but he's wearing number 10 this evening. Inbounds pass into Vincent. Now Brett Meredith going with it. Now he'll pull it up. Stolen away, almost stolen away by Cedric Kerr. Now Davidson. This is Vincent here on the left wing. Now they go to Cruz. Kyle Johnson guarding him. He picks up his dribble, needs some help. Gets it off to Nathan Vincent over there on the right side. Down in the corner to Davidson. Davidson driving the baseline. Knocked away from behind by Cedric Kerr. But we're going to get a foul call. for his third personal foul, the 18 foul on the Scotties. Brian Davidson going to step up to the line for one and the bonus. Well, Edmondson County is really being patient on offense right now, and they're looking, 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 and finding the open man, and uh, they get the ball inside the paint on us, and we're having a hard time with them when they do that. Brian Davidson with 21 points as he gets his first free throw, second one up, it's no good. Cedric Curd with the rebound. Curd gives to Stockton. Brandon going all the way. He'll put it up and in. Scotty's back to within two. 68-66. 3.43 to go in the game. Nathan Vincent gives it to Brett Meredith. Now over to Cruz. Cruz still in the backcourt. Gives it up to Meredith. Meredith, 10-second violation called on Edmondson County. Scotty's beat him up right there. And they force a turnover. Yeah, you got Nathan Vincent in for Brett Meredith, and that, yeah, I think it's really hurting them. And Brett's going to come back in the ball game right here. So they need his ball handling and savvy on the floor. Uh, Glasgow went right at Nathan Vincent that time, double team him. Brad Meredith checks back into the ball game for Edmondson County. Oh, okay. There's two of them in there. That's right. Brett's number 11. Right. Brad's right. number 10. Right. Now Stockton across the timeline. He can, uh, the Scotties can tie things up right here with a bucket. 3.22 to go. Glasgow trail 68-66. Again, uh, this one uh, is for the district title. At least as far as Brad is concerned. down pass knocked into the backcourt by Brad Meredith. Stockton goes and chases it down. Brandon oh, wow. fires a three. Not a good shot from Brandon that time. He got in a hurry. Brandon thought he got fouled. Bart thought he did too. But uh, Brandon throws up the air ball, and Edmondson County going to get it back. Josh McCracken and Drew Thompson are into the Scotty lineup. Brett Meredith, his pass knocked down by Stockton. Now they give it off to Davidson. Davidson gets it into the front court. Stockton stole it. The ball knocked out of bounds. Last touch by the Wildcats. Glasgow going to get it back. The defense for the Scotties right now, Larry, just relentless. It is. Well, it's time to get that way. You're down two with 247, 248 to go, so you have to you have to really get after it if you want to win this ball game. Now Downs with it, top of the key to McCracken. Big three. It's good! Josh McCracken gives the Scotties a one-point lead, 69-68, 243, 233 to go in the ball game. Brad Meredith inside to Williams. He walks. Do we get the call? No, a blocking foul called on Drew Thompson. I really thought that Williams walked with it that time, but uh, they don't call it. They put it on Drew Thompson. That's his second personal. The 19th foul on the Scotty. Ryan Durham, Kyle Johnson, Ryan Landrum, Cedric Curd all return for Glasgow, replacing Ty Bowles, Josh McCracken, Drew Thompson, and Glenn Downs. So right now on the four for Glasgow with 2.26 to go in the ball game, you have Cedric Curd, Ryan Landrum, Ryan Durham, Kyle Johnson, and Brandon Stockton is the uh, lone player that remains in the ball game for the Scotties. Glasgow leading 69 to 68, but Jonathan Williams at the line to see if he can do something about that for the Wildcats. He'll be there for one in the bonus. What is Jonathan tonight? He's not a great free throw shooter, but he's uh, he's not bad either. He is four of seven at the line tonight. First one up, and it's good. He looks like 100% third, isn't he? and we're tied at 69. He'll have one more, this to give his club the lead. It's up, it is no good. Stockton with a rebound for Glasgow. Brandon into the front court, driving the baseline, puts up the shot. It's good. No. Oh, oh. my 
goodness, we're going to get a charging foul called on Brandon Stockton. And they're not going to count the basket. Well, they don't count the basket in high school. I don't think it was a charge. But he just went straight up, shot the basketball, and the man fell down. An Academy Award ought to go to that Edmondson County player. And Brandon picks up his second personal foul. And a timeout going to be called by the Wildcats. 2-11 to go in the game. We're tied at 69. Back after this one-minute timeout here on WCLU Sports. A team is a group of people working together for a common goal. The team of 40 people at the Glasgow Electric Plant Board work to provide our community with reliable electric service and world-class communications and technology. As customers of the EPB, you own the Electric Plant Board. The EPB team works for the common good of our community to make the quality of life better for everyone that lives here. Support your hometown. The EPB team is working for you day and night. Call them anytime at 651-8341. When we say glass, 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 glass paving, 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 there's probably very few of you listening that can honestly say, who are they and what do they do? Yes, in our many years of serving this community, Glass Paving has the reputation of being one of the most respected paving companies in the state. Right here at home, Glass Paving is a locally owned, quality-oriented company where workmanship is state-of-the-art and customer satisfaction is our number one priority. Give the professionals at Glass Paving a call today at 651-6645. It's a call you'll be glad you made. Brad Meredith with the basketball for the Wildcats. 2.04 to go in the ball game. This one's still anybody's game. We're tied at 69. Cruz lobbing it in down there for Davidson. He'll go lay it in, and he draws the foul. Ryan Lander picks up his second personal, the 10th team foul on the Scotties. So that puts Edmondson County in the double bonus on every Glasgow foul. The next Edmondson County foul will do the same for the Scotties. Davidson misses the free throw, though. Stockton with the basketball for Glasgow. Wildcats with a 71-69 lead, a minute 47 to go. Well, that was a big play for Edmondson County. Somebody's losing their man on the back side, and they're, they're making some good passes back and finding people wide open. Ryan Durham cross court over there to Cedric Kurd. Now he gives it back out to Durham straight away. Now they put it in Brandon Stockton's hands. A minute and a half to go. Stockton going to the baseline down there. He'll put it up left-handed. He got it! Beautiful left-handed lay-in from Brandon Stockton. His body was back behind the basket, and he got it anyway. Tied at 71. Brad Meredith across the timeline. He'll go all the way to the basket, put it up. No good, but a foul going to be called on the Scotties. Well, we're going to have to play a little bit better defense like than that. We're going to have to stop him out at the guard line, not let him penetrate, because their penetration's been killing us. In the lane that time, Larry, was wide open, and uh, right. Meredith saw it. Yeah, wide open, and, and a few times they've gotten into the lane, and they've dealt it off. Cedric Hurd fouls out of the ball game. He picks up his fifth. He fouls out uh, one of seven from the floor. He did not attempt a free throw. He had five rebounds, so he finishes with two points. Josh McCracken will check in for Glasgow, replacing Kurd. Cedric uh, just couldn't get much going offensively tonight. Yeah, he, he nailed him up at the Class A, but he hadn't had, didn't have a really good night scoring tonight. Brad Meredith at the line for two free throws for Edmonton County. It is up. It is no good. Second free throw for Brad Meredith on the way. It is up. It is good. Six points for Meredith. And Edmondson County takes a 72-71 lead. Stockton driving down there. Puts up the shot, no good, but he drew the foul. He'll step up to the line for a couple of free throws. Well, Brandon wanted that one. He thought he had that basket, too. It just hit the back of the rim and came out on him. Houston Cruz picks up his third personal. That is the 10th team foul on the Wildcats, so Stockton going to the line for two shots. Seventy-seven percent on the year. The first one's up. It is no good. Mm -hmm. Didn't expect that. 
Brennan has 37 points. This one for number 38 will tie it up. He missed them both, and Williams has the rebound. Well, you don't see that very often. No, you do not. First time I can remember all year Brandon missing two free throws. Cruz with it. Pass is over to Davidson. He goes to the basket, missed the shot, but a foul going to be called on the Scotty. Well, when Glasgow, when Edmonton County is getting trapped over on one side of the floor, Davidson is sneaking in behind everybody on the back side, and they've hit him for layups a lot of times. Now, that's about the third or fourth time they've done that. Glenn Downs picks up his fourth personal. Free throw from Davidson is good. Davidson has really hurt the Scotties tonight. He's got 25 points now as he connects on both free throws. Edmonton County in front, 74-71, 50 seconds to go. We don't need a three yet. Stockton driving to the basket. He'll put it up. Missed the shot. Ball passed out by Brad Meredith. Meredith pass. There is a strip away from him. Out of bounds. Last touch by Glasgow. Edmonton County will retain possession. Randy Depp going to check in for the Scotty. He will replace Glenn Downs. Randy comes in for defensive purposes right here. We want to try to get some type of steal. Any type of turnover for that matter. Cruz gets it in to Brett, Brett Meredith. Now he gets it to Davidson. Davidson across the timeline. Depp comes to pick him up. They kick it out to Brad Meredith out front. Meredith, pocket pick. Oh, Brandon Stockton and a foul going to be called on Brandon. And folks, this was right in front of us. And I'm going to tell you right now, this was not a foul. This was not a foul. I mean, this was right in front of us. And the official just assumed it was going to be a foul, and he called it. My goodness, some mercy. I mean, that was right in front of us. And I mean, he picked his pocket just as slick as a whistle. Brad Meredith at the line for two shots. It is up. It is good. returns to the Scotty lineup, replacing Randy Depp. We've got 29 seconds to go. Glasgow down by two possessions. Brad Meredith has one more free throw. It is up. It is good. But a lane violation is going to be called on Davidson. Yeah, so, uh, the something. free throw will not count. They don't make up for it, though. No, it does not. <laughs> Stockton fires the three straight away. It's good! 25 seconds to go. The Scotties within one. And a timeout called by Glasgow. It will have to be a full timeout. I believe they will have one full timeout remaining. Scotties have pulled back within one on a three-pointer by Brandon Stockton. 75-74, 24.2 seconds remain in this ball game. Scotty's trailed by uh, Brandon. Brandon has 40 points. He sure does. As I look at my scorebook, Bruce tells me he has got 40, and he does. He's got uh, 40 in Glasgow's 74 in this ball game. But uh, Larry, uh, the Scotties trailed by as much, I believe, as, as 15 points here in the second half of play. But exactly they got right. back in it through defense, and uh, right now we need another big defensive stop. Well, yeah, five minutes, 45 seconds going the third quarter, we were down 15. And at the end of the third quarter, we were ahead by two. But Edmondson County has really kept their composure and uh, they really played well on offense. Uh, they haven't stopped Brandon Stockton right, but offensively they've done a good job. We need a steal, but if, if we do not get that, we need to foul. The inbounds into Brett Meredith. Meredith, charging foul called on Brett Meredith. Well, it's either a charge or a travel. He had to be one or the other. Randy Depp stood there and took it. Give him all the credit. And Brett Meredith picks up his fifth foul. He fouls out. He ends his evening with 10 points. Brad Johnson and the official who made that one having a few words over here in front of us. But uh, Brad Meredith fouls out of the ball. I'm sorry, Brett Meredith fouls out of the ball game. Three of eight from the field. Four of four at the free throw line. He had four rebounds. He finishes his evening with 10 points. But uh, 20 seconds to go. Scotty's trail 75-74. Larry? 
Scotty basketball. Right. I'm going to say Brandon Stockton will have it. Yeah, ball control foul. You want to get it into Brandon's hands, that's for sure. 20.2 seconds to go. It'd be nice to hit it where they wouldn't have a chance to do anything, but you'll take one wherever you can get it. Landham gets the inbound to Downs. Now to Stockton inside to Ryan. Landham goes up with it. Put it in, and he got fouled. Well, they faked everybody out, gave it to Brandon Stockton, set Ryan Landrum up for the shot, and he made it. The Edmondson County foul goes on. Who are they going to put it on right here? They go on Brad Meredith. That's his third. Ryan Landrum just hit a huge free, or a huge field goal. He has, he has nine points, and he's at the line for another big free throw. He can give his team a two-point lead right here with 15 seconds to go. Well, we still got 15 seconds, Joe, and they've got plenty of time. Free throw no good. Depp with a rebound for Glasgow. And then he was fouled. So Randy will get a chance to step up to the line and put a couple free throws on the board. Well, I wish somebody else had been in there there at that time, but Randy doesn't shoot his free throws very well, but we need two right here. Fourth personal called on Houston Cruz. We all know Randy struggles uh, offensively, but it sure would be a thing of beauty if he stepped up here and hit two free throws. Yeah, exactly right. Person. If he ever hits one, let's hit at least one of them. First one up, it's no good. Randy ought to fake the injury right there, so he's down to the beach. <laughs> 12.6 seconds to go. Scotty's in front, 76-75. Depp at the line. Has one more free throw. It is up. He shot an air ball. Didn't draw any iron. And Edmonton County will have a chance to win it right here with 12.6 seconds to go. Scotty's lead, 76-75. Cruz gets the inbounds into Nathan Vincent. Vincent gives it back to Brad Meredith. Meredith across the timeline. Underneath to Davidson. He'll put it up and in. Four seconds to go. Gives his team a one-point lead. 2.5 seconds remain on the clock. I thought uh, there should be some more time on the clock. I thought they called that timeout with four seconds to go. Let's see if we put any time on the clock. Well, that's about the fourth time that they've let uh, Meredith get open down underneath the basket or uh, Davidson either one. Uh, we were out pressing trying to deny the basketball across mid-court, and when we did that, we left somebody open, wide open underneath, and the uh, back man just didn't get back in time. But that's, uh, that's, what, you, that's what you do when you, you pay for it, when uh, things like that happen. When you go after the basketball, you're going to leave somebody alone, and it's it, it, uh, paid off for Edmondson County right there. We're going to put 3.8 seconds on the clock. We've got 3.08 up there right now, of course. Uh, <laughs> We'd like to have 3.08 left in this ball game. It's been an excellent game, been a great game to call, and I hope a fun game for you folks at home to listen to. But Glasgow is going to have 3.8 seconds on uh, the clock. They will have to go the length of the floor, but uh, Larry, nobody in the state I'd rather have in this situation than Brandon Stockton. Well, you're exactly right, Joe. If you can get the ball in his hands, that's what you want to do. And, uh, you know, whether he can go the length of the floor in 3.8 seconds and get him a shot, I don't know. I think he'll probably get one off because Edmondson County's going to, they're, they're going to stop him, try to stop him about mid-court. Here we go. Let's get it in to Stockton. Brandon lost the basketball, and that's going to be it. Edmondson County comes in here to Scotty Jim, and they upset the Glasgow Scotties. And uh, something that just gets under my skin like nothing else, the Edmondson County crowd rushes the floor. Well, uh, you know, state champions and all of that, I guess they think they deserve it. They played a heck of a ball game. They did real good, but there's some student, student bodies on the floor, so you can't blame them. They get so excited. Edmonton County wins it by a final of 77 to 76, and the district picture just got awfully cloudy.